Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture on dislocation or subluxation of acromioclavicular joint. So, this is the humerus, scapula, acromial process and clavicle, coracoid process. This is coracoid process, acromion process, clavicle, scapula, humerus. This is acromioclavicular ligament, right? Acromioclavicular ligament. This is coracoclavicular ligament because this is coracoid process. This is clavicle. The ligament connecting coracoid process with the clavicle is coracoclavicular ligament. The ligament connecting acromion process with the clavicle is acromioclavicular ligament. Okay. Whenever there is partial or complete rupture of this acromioclavicular ligament, it is called as subluxation or dislocation. That results in the subluxation of the shoulder joint. That, so, it is uh, subluxation of this acromioclavicular joint. So, this is called as subluxation or dislocation of acromioclavicular joint. So, there are three grades of this uh, acromioclavicular joint uh, dislocation. So, what are the three grades? The first grade where there is no rupture but just strain. Only there is a minimal strain in strain to acromioclavicular joint okay uh, in the joint it's mainly to the ligament in the acromioclavicular joint the strain is only to the ligament that is strain to acromioclavicular ligament there is only strain in the second one there is rupture of acromioclavicular ligament this is acromion process this is clavicle so here there is rupture if you see there is rupture it's not the ligament has been ruptured. Okay. Rupture. Of acromioclavicular ligament. This is grade 2. Grade 1. Grade 2. In grade 3. But in grade 2. There is rupture of acromioclavicular ligament. But coracoclavicular ligament will be normal. But in grade 3. There is rupture of acromioclavicular ligament. And also coracoclavicular ligament okay so there is rupture of acromioclavicular and coracoclavicular ligament cc is coracoclavicular ac is acromioclavicular ligament so these are the three grades of subluxation and dislocation of acromioclavicular joint so now uh, how are you going to diagnose it? So, how, how does the patient come to you? Patient comes to us with pain. If there is minimal, there can be minimal swelling, but mostly the patient comes with pain. And there is some disability or difficulty in movement of the shoulder. There may be pain in movement of shoulder or abnormal mobility of the shoulder can be there. Okay. So, then we do a uh, x-ray. So, once we have done the x-ray, this is the x-ray which we have got. Uh, I know it may not be so clear, but I think it's visible to you, right? So, this is the x-ray which we have got. So, if you see, this is the clavicle, this is the scapula, this is the humerus and this is the rib cage. This is normal. If you see here, this is the clavicle. This is the scapula, coracoid process, and this is the acromion process. This is the coracoid process. See, this is the coracoid process. This is the acromion process. You can see the more space which is present, free space. So, this is the dislocation which we see here. Okay, dislocation of acromioclavicular joint. Okay, this is what we see in, on x-ray. So, generally we take x-ray with acromioclavicular joint seen on both the sides. Always the x-ray which we take for subluxation or dislocation of shoulder joint should contain the acromioclavicular joints of both the sides. You should not take x-ray of only one side. You should take for both the sides so that we can compare. See, here there is, the, it's so, you know, both are nearer and the, the joint space is less. Here the joint space is very large. So, by this we can say that there is dislocation. Okay. So, how are you going to treat it? The treatment depends upon the grades. So, if it is grade 1, 
and grey too. It's just structure. So if you rest, uh, they can be repaired. They can. Uh, 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 it's just rest. If you if you rest for some time, they can. Uh, uh, there can be. Um, it can be resolved easily. Okay. So the major treatment for both of them is rest. And for the uh, grade three, because there is rupture of both acromioclavicular and coracoclavicular ligament, there is no stability for the clavicle. Right? The clavicle and the scapula, it's not attached by any means. So because of this, we have to do a surgical repair. Okay? So this is the uh, major uh, things which I would like to uh, just give an outview on acromioclavicular joint subluxation and dislocation. Thank you guys for watching my lecture. Um, thank you for watching my lecture. Thank you. Thank you.